Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. So, in the previous class, we started the chapter Understanding Elementary Shapes. So, today let's talk about how we can compare line segments. So, the first method we can compare line segments just by observations. Here you can see three line segments: line segment AB, line segment CE, and line segment CD. Now, just by observing, you can see that line segment AB is shorter than line segment CE. But can we say for sure if line segment AB is longer or shorter than line segment CD? So, as you can see, comparing line segments just by observation is not a reliable method. It cannot be applied in all the cases. So, let's see other methods of comparing line segments. The next method is to compare line segments by tracing. So, in this method, we need to use a tracing sheet or a tracing paper. Now, place the tracing paper over one of the line segments. Let's say line segment AB. Now, trace line segment AB onto this tracing sheet. Now, place this tracing sheet over line segment PQ. So, there you can do a comparison. You have a replica of line segment AB or a copy of line segment AB on this tracing sheet which you can use to compare the length of line segment PQ with. So, this method is also not so reliable because we cannot apply it in all the cases. So, this was comparing line segments by tracing. Let's see another method. This is by comparing line segments using a ruler. We have all learned how to measure a line segment using a ruler. So here you can see line segment AB, how do we take its length or how do we measure its length using the ruler? You have to place the ruler in such a way that the zero marking coincides with one of the endpoints of the line segment and then take the corresponding measurement from the ruler. You can see there are small divisions on this ruler, each smaller division represents 1 millimeter. Hence 10 smaller divisions or 10 millimeter will represent 1 centimeter. So, can you say what is the length of line segment AB from this? See, the zero marking coincides with point A of the line segment. Now, it extends to 4.5. So, the length of line segment is 4.5 centimeter. Now, you can measure the different line segments given to you by using a ruler to compare their lengths. So, this is one method of comparing line segments. Let's see another method. Now, this is comparing line segment using a divider. You can see a geometrical instrument like this in your geometry box. This is called the divider. It has two arms. The two arms are pointed arms. Now, how to use a divider to compare different line segments? So, to show an example, I have drawn two line segments here, line segment AB and line segment PQ. So, we are going to compare these two line segments using a divider. The first step is to open the arms of the divider and keep the point of one of the arms on one end point of one of the line segments. We are going to start with line segment AB here. So, here we have the point of one of the arms of the divider coinciding with point A. Now, open the arms of the divider and stretch it till the other arm, the point of the other arm coincides with the other end point of the line segment. So, here you have a measure of line segment AB. Now, without disturbing the opening of the divider, place this divider over the other line segment. Place it in such a way that one of the arms coincides with one end point of the other line segment. So, without disturbing the opening of the divider, place one of the points on line segment PQ so that it coincides with one of the points, let's say B. Now, you have a measure of line segment AB on this divider. Now, see where the other point of the divider coincides with line segment PQ. If the other arm coincides with line segment PQ at a point before Q, it means AB is shorter. If the other arm exceeds the length of line segment PQ, it means AB is longer than PQ. So, when you compare line segments using a divider, first place the divider over one of the line segments and take a measure of that line segment. Now, without disturbing the opening of the divider, place it over the other line segment and have a comparison of the two line segments. So, this is also 
another method of comparing line segments. I hope you all are clear with the methods we discussed today and we have also learned we can mark infinite points on a line. So the points which you mark on the same line or the points which lie on the same line are called collinear points and the points which do not lie on the same line they are called non-collinear points. So here you can see an example here the points A, C and B they all lie on the same line hence the points A, C and B are collinear points. Now the point D is not on the line so it's a non-collinear point. So I hope this is clear to you. Now please go through these topics given in your textbook starting from page number 176. Now once you have gone through the topics, please do have a look at the exercise questions that follow. You have a try this exercise given in page number 177 and exercise 12.1 starts from the same page and there is a horse exercise given in page number 178. So it's a homework for the day, you have to work out these questions in your notebook. So that's all for today children, let's meet in the next class with a new topic, till then bye.